hard for me to imagine that an NBA season could return when you hear the numbers of casualties predicted, when you hear the numbers of people that will be inflicted by this, and to think that these guys can just go. You know, and I I do understand that all of us are working within these conditions, for sure. Maybe some things are just not salvageable. You know, in these lockout seasons, when the lockout ends, they don't go, okay, well, let's add another 32 games on the other end of it. And, and, And I get it. There'll have to be something to be figured out from the financial standpoint. And I'd love to be able to have a voice in that because I, I'm, I understand it's real. But what I do know is that maybe this just can't be fixed. Okay, interesting comments there. NBA insider Brian Whithorst joins us now. You heard Kevin Durant's manager say the season might not be salvageable. What's the feeling around the NBA about the potential of not having the season resume? Uh, Ryan, it's been a bad week. Uh, um, I think there was optimism about uh, progress a week ago. And some things that have happened this week have, have turned it south about, about what could happen. Uh, a big factor was what happened in China, where they halted the return of their league. And one of the big reasons is because they really believe that they just tested the player's temperature all the time, that it would work. And the Chinese are finding that asymptomatic carriers are causing a, maybe a second wave in that country. And they have just slammed the brakes on sports. And the talks between the players union and the, and the league this week, I've talked to both sides of this issue. And it is clear that the NBA is angling to set up a deal that enables them to shut the season down. Now, they don't have to do that yet. And the way they're negotiating, they're leaving themselves an option either way. Um, but they are not having talks about how to restart the league. They are having financial talks about what would happen if the season shut down and I think there's a significant amount of pessimism right now. Wow you know with everybody talking about safety first these days it is difficult to see a path forward to having the season so when you look at the league trying to save the season and again you mentioned there may be some pessimism in that now at some point you got to acknowledge there's going to be a 2021 season so what's the balancing act the league might be trying to do to keep both this season and next season intact if they do have hope of maybe trying to go forward. Ryan, that is exactly it. They, there, there comes a point where you go too far, where you start to look at damaging two seasons. And that is what the NBA is trying to evaluate. And they do have runway here. I, I do think that they could, if they had to, go into August or September to finish this season. But I'm not sure they feel confident about that right now. And a big factor is testing. We just don't have the testing. At some point, not only does it have to be a test that's quick and can evaluate whether a player is healthy enough to enter a game, uh, you have to know whether uh, you have the tests available so that you can't, you're not taking them away from people who need them. And so right now, that's not here. If in six or eight weeks it is here, we could have a different conversation. But the league is preparing for that answer to be no.